I remember the very first festival. I remember meeting a certain young man. So the fact that he's putting up with me still 20 years later is uh, I've just got a few apologies. So have I. But this festival is the, the cornerstone uh, of Canberra's LGBTIQ events calendar. It's a really important opportunity for the community to come together uh, to celebrate life in, a, in Australia's most inclusive city, but to celebrate who we are and the wonderful contribution that we make to the life of the family. Can I particularly thank Choir for being here tonight, and it's a great honour to speak ahead of your... <laughs> <laughs> I've got a plane to catch. I do have a plane to catch, and, uh, and this way uh, you will comfortably upstage me when you take it, <laughs> or I won't have a heart act. This year's festival uh, takes place again during the month of November, running from the 2nd to the 24th. Uh, the ACT government has been a proud supporter of the Spring Out Festival and we look forward to continuing to do that into the 2020s. Yeah. We particularly also acknowledge the strong support uh, of other partners uh, and I want to uh, particularly acknowledge the aid but again, acknowledge the AIDS Action Council uh, for their ongoing support uh, of Spring Out and particularly uh, for their support uh, of Fair Day each year. <laughs> I want to uh, acknowledge that this year's event has a few new and fantastic elements as well as the return of some of our traditional favourites. Now, festival highlights for 2019 include Tugger's Pride. Yay! Yay! <laughs> An event quizzing the velvet. Why <laughs> YWCA's LGBTIQA plus and allies prom. <laughs> A wonderful recent edition, Yes Fest. Yeah. The Queer Displacement Conference. Yeah. The National Homosexual Histories Conference. Yeah. And of course, my own personal favourite, Bush Dance. <laughs> 2019 is a year of anniversaries. The 20th for Spring Out. This year, we were really pleased to be able to release uh, the ACT's first LGBTIQ plus strategy the capital of equality, and I again want to thank everyone for their input in the development of this strategy and for working in partnership uh, with the government to get the strategy in place, but now we move on to the next important part, which is the actions that follow from that. And so we're going to be releasing the action plan to deliver on the first phase of this strategy uh, in the coming weeks. This year also, uh, is a commemoration of the 50th anniversary uh, of LGBTIQ plus activism and reform in our fine city. And we mark that with uh, the formation, and we mark that event with a celebration of the formation of the Homosexual Law Reform Society, which occurred in 1969. Next week, our city hosts Canberra Together, celebrating respect and difference. It's an event that will bring people together, bring our allies together to shine a spotlight on what is already happening in our community. <coughs> Excuse me, how am I losing my voice? How more do I need it? <laughs> 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 This event brings our allies together, will shine a spotlight on what's already happening in the community, and it will discuss issues that matter through a series of participatory workshops and presentations. It's about meaningful connections, it's about collaboration and sustaining our work to create a fairer, and more equal, and more welcoming Canberra. Can I conclude, because my voice is really going, with a huge congratulations to everyone in the Spring Out Committee for all of their hard work. Woo! Putting together this fantastic <laughs> and 
surely is something for everyone in this year's Spring Edge Festival. Yes. Enjoy it, have a fantastic time. It will, of course, be wonderfully warm. We will have no more fake springs by the time we get to November. That's why Spring Out is in November. We can truly spring out and have a fantastic time. Ladies and gentlemen and friends, thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you.